I'm Morgana Stanley, Superintendent of the Henderson County Schools. My message today is about reading. Reading is by far the single best gift that you can give any child. And with Christmas time coming up, what a perfect gift to find for any child in your life. It is important that your child reads 20 minutes a day. The Henderson County Schools is going to have a reading challenge again this year. It will start the day after kids get out for Christmas break. That will be December 21st and it will run all the way to spring break. We will put specific details on our web page and also post to our social media outlets. So parents, kids, be watching for that. And just like last year, we'll randomly select some of our favorite pictures to give away prizes about every three weeks. I'd like to go ahead and start the contest with you today and read to you one of the classic Christmas stories. Twas a Night Before Christmas. It was originally written as a poem in 1823 and published anonymously in a newspaper in New York. So let's get started with Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plum danced in their heads and Mama in her kerchief and my, I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his reindeers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and on Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves they flew, like a wild hurricane, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the reindeer they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, merry. his cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist of the head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside on his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And 
and I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. We wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas, and encourage everyone to become a part of our Winter Reading Challenge. Watch our website and social media as we start to post the specific details. We were incredibly honored to be a part of the Henderson Christmas Parade where we had the opportunity to pass out over 1,000 books to our community kids. Uh, we know and you know that reading is a critical skill and something that our kids can continue to practice and become better at. It will affect their whole academic career. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Be safe, stay warm, practice your reading. Have a great Christmas break.